All right, guys, today we're going to go over how to beat Ethereum Form Tornadoes Raid in Pokemon Go. So, Ethereum Form Tornadoes is coming back with a new move. Here, I got the infographic on Twitter Bleak Windstorm. And just going to go over some of like, the top counters uh, on how to beat it. So, it's a pure flying type Pokemon. It's weak to single weak to rock, electric, and ice. But ice type Pokemon aren't that great. So, you're mostly going to be using rock and electrics. And we'll go over it real quick on the moves. That it uses. So it has two fast moves. A flying move gust. And a ghost move astonish. And it's got four charge moves. A fire move heat wave. A flying move hurricane. A fighting move focus blast. So you got to be careful again using rock types there. And a psychic a psychic move psychic obviously. Alright. So I'm going to just go over real quick some of the best Pokemon to use. Like we'll start with all the, the top megas you can use. So Diancie if you have that. Uh, Rock Fairy. So Diancie's, if you have the energy for it, I recommend using it with Rock Throw, Rock Slide. And the s second best Mega you can use, I would say, is probably Mega Manectric. If you have that, where's my Manectric? Yeah, Mega Manectric with uh, Thunder Fang Wild Charge. Mine has that move set. Uh, yeah, the, uh, Electric's going to do well against all the move sets. You don't have to worry about it. Versus Di with Diancie, I think Diancie does... Really well against everything. It doesn't resist anything except the Hurricane. So they're all going to resist Hurricane. But I think Diancie's going to resist Heat Wave as well. So yeah, these two are pretty good. Alright, so that's the two top Megas. Um, I guess you could use this. But you're not really going to be boosting anything. You could also use Mega Rayquaza. Rayquaza. However you pronounce it. Where's Rayqu Rayquaza? You can use this. Just it. This thing is just so good with Dragon Ascent. It just hits like a truck. Especially if you have windy weather, this thing's amazing. All right, let's keep going on some of the other Megas we could use. Uh, Mega T-Tar, if you have that. Yeah, Mega T-Tar with Smackdown, Stone Edge. Uh, how's T-Tar going to do? You got to be careful with Focus Blast with T-Tar. But it's going to do amazing against Psychic and Heat. It's, yeah, it's going to double resist Psychic. It's going to single resist Hurricane and single resist Heat Wave. So just watch out. T-Tar might be worth it if you dodge Focus Blast. All right, so we'll go next up. Uh, Aerodact Mega Aerodactyl. You want Rock Throw, Rock Slide on Mega Aerodactyl. So Mega Aerodactyl compared to Mega T-Tar is a little bit different. So it's going to still single resist Heat Wave, uh, single resist Hurricane. Psychic will be neutral. But the, the Flying type, it helps it against Focus Blast. That's like the only benefit there. I think that's it for the Megas. I don't, I don't think there's any others. Uh, I guess there's actually... One other you can use if you want to use it. I don't recommend it, but if you don't have energy for Rhinetric or something, you can use Mega Ampharos with Volt Switch Zap Cannon. It's a dragon electric typing. Does a dragon type help it against Tornado? So Focus Blast will be neutral. Psycho will be neutral. It's going to single resist Hurricane. I guess it helps it against Heat Wave. It helps it single resist Heat Wave. So, yeah. And then next up, we'll just go over some of the top Pokemon that we can use against them. Like, what can we use? Um, Shadow Rhyperior and regular Rhyperior, if you have that. They're both really good. Shadow, you know, Shadows are just better. I don't have a Shadow Rhyperior, but you can use uh, both with Smackdown and Rock Wrecker. But you're going to need a Elite Charge TM to get it on a Shadow Rhyperior. So he's probably like the best Pokemon you can use. Uh, second one is... Circuitry, Circuitry does really well. You want Spark Discharge on it. And then Raikou as well, regular and Shadow Raikou with Thundershock Wild Charge. All right, and we'll go over just really quick some of the top counters that I recommend using. Rumpardos, if you have that. Regular Rumpardos or Shadow, I don't have a Shadow one yet, but Smackdown Rock Slide on there. And then Electivire, where's Electivire? Shadow and regular with Thundershock Wild Charge. We'll go over a few more that you could use. And some that I really want to go over, like, you can use Zapdos if you have that. Where's Zapdos? Yeah, with the Thundershock, Thunderbolt. But I think, yeah, the one of these is a Legacy move. Which one's a Legacy move? I'm pretty sure it's Thundershock. So you're going to need an Elite Fast TM there. And next up is Zekrom with Charge Beam Fusion Bolt. The Dragon type is going to be the same thing where you're going to do pretty well against Heat Wave. With Zekrom. And this one I actually really want to go over, which is Shadow Magnezone and Regular Magnezone with Spark Wild Charges. Does Steel Typing help it? Uh, no, it actually makes you weak to Focus Blast and Heat Wave, but you're going to double resist Hurricane and single resist Psychic. So this thing might not be that great. 
Another Pokemon we can use is uh, Thunderous, the Therian form with Volt Switch Thunderbolt. And I think that's it. I guess we'll go over this. I'll go over this last Pokemon that you could use. Just one Ice type that I recommend using is Shadow Mamo or regular Mamo if you want to use it with Powder Snow, Avalanche. It's a Ground Ice type, but how's it going to do? You're going to be weak to Focus Blast. Psychic will be neutral. Hurricane will be neutral. He will be neutral. That's if you happen to have like maybe snowy weather and you want to use Mamo. It's still probably not the top counter, but yeah. And as far as like duos, this is not a tough duo. If you have like a level 50 team with best friend boost, should be able to duo. Can you duo this with level 20 Pokemon? Let me check. I wonder, can I can I duo this with level 20 Pokemon? Um, looks pretty tough with level 2. You would probably need like weather boost, best friend boost, party boost, mega boost. It might be possible with level 20. Maybe I'll try it. If not, I let, let's, check, let's check out level 30. If you have weather boost, it'll be a lot easier. Yeah, I'd probably stick to level 30 Pokemon. It still look. It doesn't look like an easy duo. It's possible, but it's not easy. Anyways, good luck, guys. Rating, Theory Inform, Tornadus. Uh, I'll, I'll host Raid Hour on my channel, as always. And I'll see you guys next time. Bye.